Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again so much for our time together. Well, it's May 1st. It's a holiday, so have a good rest today. And there's no reason not to come to church tonight because there is no traffic. I'll be continuing in what great revivals look like. Jonah bringing a city to God in three days. But first, he had to get past being sleepy. So tonight, we're talking about the sleepy church. It's going to be a fun study. And we look forward to seeing you all weekend as we start on Acts chapter 18, Paul's beginning of the most troublesome church he ever pastored. That's going to be fun. But right now, I want us to go back to the book of John chapter 4, beginning with verse 1. The Pharisees heard that Jesus was gaining and baptizing more disciples than John. Now notice that. The Pharisees heard that Jesus was now more successful than John. The Pharisees heard that Jesus was more successful than John. The Pharisees heard that Jesus was more successful than John. Do you get the point? We're talking about the Pharisees here. Although, in fact, Jesus was not the one who baptized, but his disciples. When the Lord learned of this, when he learned what the Pharisees had heard, when he learned that the Pharisees had heard that he was more successful than John, he left Judea and went back once more to Galilee. Now, brothers and sisters, there's a principle of leadership that you need to learn. I had a lawyer tell me this in uh, Singapore just this week. He said, is your church loud? I said, oh my goodness, yes, we're very loud. We love to worship and sing and dance and shout and we love music. He said, no, 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 that's not what I'm talking about. And I thought it was a very interesting way to put it. He said, is your church loud? Do you like to always be noticed and do you want to be seen and do you make a big splash? In other words, he was talking about were we looking to be the center of attention and make a big deal about ourselves? He said, you know, some churches do very little things, but they make it look so big because they're loud. So what he was calling loud was not something that you hear. It was the marketing and the presentation. Now, it was told to me by a very wise old man many, many years ago when I was a young man. And it's a principle I've learned to live by in life. There is nothing that you can't accomplish. There, there is no limit to what you can accomplish in life if you're willing to go unnoticed. Let me say that again. There is no limit to what you can accomplish in life if you are willing to be unnoticed. Jesus worked hard at staying unnoticed. Jesus worked hard at not being the center of attention. Now I want to challenge you today. I know the world tells you that you have to be a success by blowing your own horn. I know the world tells you that you have to stand up and be loud, as the Chinese lawyer in Singapore told us last week. But I, I don't believe that that's something that we need to do. I believe that if we really want to be successful, we have to learn to take a lower profile. You see, it's being loud. It's, it's trying to make ourselves notice, no matter how small a thing that we're doing. It's trying to get notice that brings all the wrong kind of attention. When Jesus heard that he was getting the wrong kind of attention, people were noticing his success, he toned it down. He went back into Galilee. Remember the principle. There is no limit to what you can achieve in life if you're willing to not be noticed.